Hi, I'm James from Hobby Base. Hi, I'm Sophie from Mermaid Treasures. And today we're going to be making this uh, pinwheel card and the inspiration from that has been taken from the Adorable Scoreable Volume 1 um, book. And uh, so yeah, let's uh, get started. Okay, so today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make this diamond fold pinwheel card using some of the first edition Beyond the Shore paper and the inspiration for this card has come from the adorable scoreboard crafting handbook volume one it's a great book full of lots of different ideas um, as you can see we're going to be making this card today and i'm going to show you just how easy it is to make so the first step is we're going to cut a, a white card blank to um, 10 inches by 5 inches. I'm just going to measure out my cardstock first. So now I've measured that out, I'm just going to cut it out with my trimmer. Okay, so now we're going to need our scoreboard and I'm going to show you guys a quick tip uh, with your scoreboard before we get started because it's going to be something that we are going to be using. Now whenever you're lining your paper up and you've got it flush against one of the edges, it's really easy to, to see you know, where you're um, scoring and making sure your lines are perfect, but if you wanted to score on a diagonal like this say it's very hard to see if you've got your two points lined up in the same groove on your scoreboard so a great tip that i've got is uh, where your scoreboard is just over 12 inches you want to mark on the, the halfway point of your board at six six inches using a, uh, a thin uh, marker just run a black line all the way down through your uh, six inch groove and then that way when you want to line up things on the diagonal you you always know where your six inch mark is so you're going to be able to line things up perfectly and it makes it so much easier so you can see on there i've got my line drawn through and that will really help where you need to score along diagonals which is what we're going to be doing in a minute but first um, i'm going to take my um, card length that i've just cut out and we're going to score at two and a half inches and at five inches so i'm just going to go ahead and do that Then on the far end of your paper, so the opposite end to where we've just scored, you're going to need to mark halfway down this piece. So it's five inches, so we need to measure down to two and a half inches. I'm just going to make a small pencil mark there so that we know where that point is. Okay, so now, um, so going through the book here, the steps that we've done so, th so far, that's uh, points one, two, and three. And there's only seven steps to making this one, so you can see it's really easy uh, to do. So next thing, from each edge, uh, from your right hand side, we're gonna mark two and a half inches. And again, I'm gonna, mark just a pencil mark there same on this side and then we're going to draw a line from the point that we marked here to each of our points that we've just marked 
and that's going to create two triangles and we need to remove these two pieces here so you can use a pair of scissors if you want to I'm just going to quickly trim them off So your piece of card should look like that now with two score lines, two and a half inches and uh, five inches. And we are now going to uh, score along some diagonals. So we're going to score from this top right hand corner here down to the bottom of the first score line we did here. So you're going to be going across this diagonal here and then the same with this side going from this edge to here so if you want to you can just draw a pencil line just so you can see where it is that you want to be scoring just so it's a bit easier and if I draw it on for you guys then you'll be able to see exactly what it is we're going to be doing sometimes it can be quite hard to see score lines when we're doing it so you can see where I've drawn that pencil cross, those are the next lines that we're going to be scoring. Now because we're doing it on a diagonal, I'm just going to line that up on there and you can see with my black line, I've got my top point in the 6 and you can see that I know I've got it carrying on in this 6 inch line because of that black line I've drawn. That was my top tip for today. I'm going to do the same with the other side, make sure that's lined up nicely. Just going to score through there. And I'm just going to raise out my pencil lines. So that is the uh, basis of our card, all scored and ready so this piece on your left hand side that is going to be the base of the card I'm just going to score that and then the diamonds I'm just going to score along fold those in so you can see it needs to fold in along your score lines like that same on the other side just going to fold it in along your score line so that is what you end up with once you fold it so you can see it goes from that to that and then it's going to stand up like that so that is your base diamond fold card so from here you can put on any uh, design um, that you want um, but I'm going to be uh, as the book has done I'm going to be creating a, a pinwheel look so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some papers onto um, my plain card blank now obviously you could use a different color uh, card blank if you wanted to uh, but I've gone for white and then I'm going to be using some paper from the first edition Beyond the Shore 6x6 paper pack and to create my backgrounds I'm going to be using this kind of pink and purple ombre effect and that is also going to create our uh, pinwheel so we're going to be able to create the pinwheel from this as well as the uh, background for the, um, the base of the card and the two triangles here. And then I'm gonna use a spotty piece of paper for the background for the, uh, the main element of the card. Again, that's from this paper pack. So there's loads of great designs in here, all really pretty under the sea. You've got a lot of turquoise, blue, purple, I know colors in here fish scales bubbles so little shimmery mermaids 
loads of really pretty designs so you can if you want to use this pad you've got lots and lots of different options so I'm going to cut out a square to go on the top here and we're just going to measure it so this square here is nine centimeters square and I want to just add a little white border around the edge so I'm going to cut out a square that's eight and a half centimeters square and that's going to be from our spotty paper so I'm going to measure it on the uh, reverse side of that So that is going to be the base for the top part of the card. And that is going to sit on there like that. Okay, now I'm going to create the pinwheel that is going to sit on top. I'm going to uh, use a piece of this card here with the uh, ombre effect and I'm just going to measure out a square of card and this one is going to be 9 by 9 your off cuts because then we're going to be using those on the rest of the card so to make our uh, pinwheel we're going to fold our paper over from corner to corner same on the other side Then we're going to measure up to, uh, a third of the way up each line uh, from the centre point. Mark it. So, so each half is six. I'm going to mark at two centimetres up each one of these. Now we're going to fold our points into the center to create our pinwheel look. You, you want to fold over each alternative point. So when you've finished, that is what you've got. So you start off with your square, fold in each alternate point to get your pinwheel shape. Now to hold it in place I'm just going to use a split pin. And I'm going to make a hole through the centre of the card. my four points down and then feed the split pin through and that will hold all your points together there we go 
that's our pinwheel made and you can see that is super super easy to make and that is going to sit on the front of our card like that now for our card i don't want to leave um, these edges here blank so i'm going to add um, paper to the two triangles here and then this base here and we're going to be able to do that with the offcuts of paper that we use to create the pinwheel so if i just measure this for you so this piece here is 12 and a half by six uh, centimeters so i'm going to leave a little border so i'm going to cut a piece of paper that's 12 centimeters by uh, let's see if we do it by six then that will create a little border so we're going to do 12 and a half by six going to be the uh, base of our card get rid of that pencil mark so it's going to be our base there and then I'm just going to create two triangles to go in here so again because I want a little border I'm just going to measure it to see what size we need so I'm going to go with five I'm going to go with a five uh, triangles with a five centimeter edge so if we cut a five centimeter square and then cut that in half that will make our two triangles that we need You can see the triangles fit in there nicely. And I'm going to attach my pinwheel onto the base. So I'm going to add some double sided tape to do that. Make sure it's stuck on nice and firmly. And then the last element to do is we just need to stick this white triangle here down onto the base and that is what is going to make your card stand up. So I'm just going to hold that, stick it down. And make sure everything is folded over nicely got nice score lines and there you have it a really lovely super easy pinwheel card thanks so much for watching this uh, craft along with Sophie today um, if you liked th uh, what you saw press on the thumbs up button just below and also um, let us know what you thought in the comments below and don't forget uh, if you want to see more videos like this, press on the subscribe button and you'll be notified of any future videos. Uh, we post out a lot of um, content um, every few days, so um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.